soon as I hit play, my phone pings. How's that work? But I don't put it on silent because it's holidays and kids are out and about and they're going to want me. So I'm going to leave it on because this is real life. Okay. So talking about real life, why am I here today? Right, let me tell you. It's because I am stressed out of my mind. You all know how I feel about works in progress, aka whips. And I don't really have them. In the same world, I don't have them. I just get a project done and it's done. And I move on to the next one. And that's just the way I roll. It works fine. But knitting, I am the opposite. And I've got myself in a bit of a tiz because I've got too many things on the go. The last time this happened, it was a long time ago now. Um, and I got it well under control and I cleared the decks and I was all sorted again. And I was thinking the other day, how do I deal with that? And it's because I did pretty much what I'm doing now. And that is I assessed everything and I went through all the things I'd got and worked out, well, what is the plan? So I pulled out all my bags because that was the other thing. In my lounge, there seemed to be bags everywhere. And that was really annoying my husband. And I get it. We've got a lovely, lovely lounge. And then there's just my bags everywhere. It does kind of spoil things a little bit, doesn't it? Even though the bags are mine, I've made them and they look lovely. And I'll show you some of the bags as well as we go. But yeah, there's lots of things I could talk about in the yarn world. Um, but I'm not going to talk about things that I've bought. Um, especially since I'm supposed to be on some kind of yarn ban. Um, but um, I am just going to talk about the projects today, the things that are hanging around and all that kind of stuff. First thing I'm going to do though is show you this. When I went on holiday recently to Weymouth, I needed a hat. I've never made anything like this before. This is a um, Verde pattern, V-E-R-D-E -E, if you want to look at them. And it's made with a cotton yarn. And obviously this is some kind of magical I'm assuming it's like mosaic knitting in Tarsha, but you basically just hold your two yarns, you follow charts all the way up, so you get this beautiful crown detail, and it's gorgeous. So I put it on. I mean, it's not the weather for it, right? it's about 28 degrees outside, but that's it. I think it's super sweet, I really, really like it, and I will definitely be making one of these again. In fact, I will be going to the Knitting and Stitching Show at Harrogate, October time, and I'll be looking out for the lovely lady there um, to see about buying something while I'm there. But I am being really good. When I went to the Knitting and Stitching Show 2023, I bought quite a few different kits and things like that. And I am actually working through them. I am on my last one now. Um, well, slight lie. I bought the yarn. It was from Laxton's. And it was to go with a sweater. But one year on, the sweater kind of doesn't appeal to me. Don't know why. But I had just the right amount of quantities to make the project. I'll show it you now, actually, why I'm working on. If you follow me on social media, media, you will have seen. Oh, pants, the book's at home. I will try and insert a slide here if I remember. So I can tell you very little about it other than you need three colours. And I gauge swatch for this because the yarns were totally different um, from what it said in the book. So I did gauge swatch it and it was coming out. So this is the colour yarn I'm working with right now. And then I've got a lovely green colour and a plum colour. And knitting in the round, bottom up. And this is it. Oh, let me bring it a bit closer. It's a really nice hem detail. And then it's just stocking it all the way up. And then it will go into colour work on the yoke. It is short sleeved very short sleeved, I would wear it as a layered piece, um, and it's coloured work, and it has dolls all the way around, it's quite sweet, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to show you a picture with you though, but this is one of my knits, I'll come back to this in just a minute, so pop it on the floor, so let me go through, now that one by the way, I store in my little black wall bag, because it fits in there right now, and this fabric is from my first inaugural fabric collection called Meditations on Japan, which is due out mid-August 2024. So yeah, I keep it, while it's a small size and I can carry it around, I just keep it in there. So, okay, let's empty some bags. There's the green, 
that goes with that project. Okay, okay. This is a little project bag. I've literally just got everything just rammed in together. So this is the project bag that I got from or with the kit from Verdi that I was mentioning. And that's what the hat kit came in. And right now in here, I've got stashed away everything to make one of these. I made two last year. It's a sweet little cowl scarf. You put it straight over your head. And it's got these little sort of like cast on fives, cast three off straight away kind of thing. Sorry about my phone. Um, and I've got these. I thought I would knit it up as a sample and then see about teaching it here at my Creative Wellness Hub. Those colours are super sweet. You can get them in, well, there's quite a range of colours at the minute in my local called the Wool Loft. And I paid $14.95. And that'll give it a really nice graduated effect. I'll probably start at yellow, so the small bit will be yellow. And then I'll work sort of upwards to pink towards my face. I kind of held it up and thought, which would I want to be next to my face? And it isn't yellow it's definitely pink so that's the plan there so that is project number one that needs to be started right now this is my real bugbear top this is the friday sorry it's the petite knit friday tea that i've been i cast this on i think it was in may so that is may june july well two and a half months now it's been very slow going. I made loads of mistakes back at the start. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's a top down little raglan, short sleeve and cute details. So what could possibly be going wrong? Well, nothing's going wrong. It's just, wow, well, this. It's done. It's done. There's no weaving in to do other than that one just there. I need to sew the collar down. And then I've got that, that. So let's just think about this for a minute. How much have I got to do? That much worth. And it's just sat in a bag. I'm not moving it on. And I don't know why, because I really love this and I can't wait to wear it. And I know, I feel like I know what the problem is. And it's a stupid problem, really, really stupid. And I think it's some kind of, I'm loving knitting it. I've said over and over again, so it's like, oh, you're still knitting that top. There's something about it that I've just really enjoyed and I don't want to stop knitting it. I don't know why this is a broken rib there. It's beautiful. I don't know why. I've just enjoyed it immensely. It's been very relaxing, dare I say mindful. I haven't had to give it too much thought. I've just gone around and around and I've just enjoyed it. And I just don't want it to stop. I don't love knitting sleeves in the round but then I hate knitting things flat, so I just have to deal with that. But I do need to just get it done. I mean, let's be honest, that's going to take me no more than two nights to finish the lot, then get it washed and on the blockers. So it should be high priority. So what have I got in my bag? Well, first of all, oh, empty chocolate pack. Right, rubbish pile. I need a rubbish pile. I've got my cute little bag that's got all my notions in. Okay. So when I finished the sweater and cast the sleeve off, I went rummaging in my cupboard. I mean, can you call this a cast on? It's literally just the cast on row. It looks it's not even joining the round. I got this yarn from Lincolnshire Showground about 18 months ago. And it's beautiful white, but it's very, very fine. It's a two ply. And I thought if I put that with there, which is just a cone I've had knocking around, I don't know what it is. It's from a child shop. Thought I might knit up some socks. So they're hanging around. Let me put that onto the cast on pile. I've got a tickly nose now. Right. Okay. And there are my instructions for the petite net top. So that's what I'm aiming for. I say aiming, I'm nearly there. Okay. Then I've got a load of yarns in here doing absolutely nothing. Found the chocolate. No, I'm going to hide them because my boy's on the way up. <laughs> that's why I'm taking it so yeah that white yarn that I was just showing you this one here is called Linkwold Shetlands and that's from um, Market Raisin a little sleepy market town near where I live okay and I'm stashing all of that currently in my Aries bag which is a hold all bag that I designed 
all of these bags you can get off my website or off my Etsy store. So yeah, this is Aries, the hold on. And then I've got the Blackwell pouch. Got a little zip pocket just there as well. Um, and then this bag. This is the Warwick bag. Okay, confession time. This jump here, it's brought on so much further than I've even realised now I'm looking at it. Look, we have a back, we have a front, a proper winter woolly one this, or is it the wrong way around? Can't tell, that's the right way around. Look, big baggy jumper and the sleeve is well on the way. All I need to do is two sleeves and it's done. And again, I'm not doing it and I don't know why. I think it's something to do with sleeves, isn't it? See, this is the thing. As soon as you start documenting and talking and looking at things, my problem is the same. It's sleeves. So because I'm already thinking about that little dolly jumper. Oh my God. Um, I'm thinking about that dolly jumper, thinking about how, oh, I don't want to see with sleeves. So I'm thinking about that already. So all my yarns in here, I've got this sleeve on the go. It's straight knitting. Yeah, it is. It'll be blocked, colour blocked, and the stitches will change. But it's chunky yarn. It's really not going to take me long at all. So another one for me to get, be getting on with. In this bag, this little bag here is a bag with no name. It's just one I sort of put together. I probably ought to write it up as a pattern, I suppose. I've got some hand sewing in here, so like embroidery kind of stuff. So we're just going to omit that for the time being. It's not part of this process. But yeah, I've forgotten I've done that too. Oh, I don't know. Right, in here, this is a sweet little project I did as part of a knit along. April, I remember it was for the month of April, with Mar Marion, who is in California. I think she's California, I can't remember. Anyway. She invited people to take part in doing the little dumpling bag. And it was one that you had to do in linen yarn, and I didn't. I just put together some of my yarns I got in my cupboard. Decided it didn't really matter, in effect, about gauge, because I could make it as tall as I wanted to, really. So when I got an idea of how the width was looking, I would just keep knitting upwards until it felt right. And similarly, the straps would be done the same way. Um, all I've got left to do, so I've got a provisional cast on at the start that I now can't see because I use the same yarn, which was a stupid error. So that's going to have to be hand sewn instead, just for ease. And then I've got a strap here, up and over, that's been joined in. So all I've got to do is one little strap here, and it's done. I feel really stupid now. I feel really stupid because... Oh my God, it's not going to take long at all, is it? And that is all my projects. I feel like I've got a lot more. I know I've got some crochet ones at home, but they're not mm, ones about that high up. And that's about it. But <clears throat> I think the problem with me is that all these don't take much to do. I mean, forget the little scarf. I've got a sweater that needs a little sleeve doing. I've got a sweater that needs two sleeves knitting and then just all joining together. And I've got a little bag that needs about that much straight knitting and seaming and then it's done. And then I can be monogamous on this jumper, which is what I want. Um, do we really call this a cast on? I mean, it's not really, is it? I mean, it is cast on, but it's not gone anywhere. So I think that what I'm going to do is leave the things that need to be done more in front of my face so you know like that whole if you leave clean washing on the stairs your kids obviously going to pick it up rather than stepping over it all the time and moving it out of the way because that always happens doesn't it i think it's that kind of thinking i need to think leave some of these things that are a bit more visual and around me to give me that probably guilt trip to myself i think that's what i'm gonna do I don't know. Have you got any tips or tricks for tip trip? I don't know. Have you got any tips or tricks for me? How would you deal with this? And how would you do 
deal with this problem around having to knit sleeves. And I've heard this like whole thing about being stuck on Sleeve Island, but and clearly that's me, isn't it? And I never realised. Not I didn't realise until today. So yeah, it's where are we now? July. We've got August, September, October till the knitting and stitching show. And I want to go with a clean conscience that I have used all the yarns I bought last year. And that will be this knitted jumper, which I'm very confident of um, because I'm loving it. I'm going to soon whip up all the stock in there and then we're going to have that lovely detail. That's going to be so much fun. Um, and I'm going to get these finished. I'm going to prioritise and I'm going to terrorise myself and I'm going to update you all on social media so you know how I am doing. So that is me in a nutshell of what's been going on. Short, sharp and sweet, I hope. And um, thank you for staying with me today and watching. If you've enjoyed my content and you'd like to be notified when videos have been uploaded to my YouTube channel, then do consider giving me a like and subscribe and maybe hit the bell. And I will see you all again very, very soon. In the meantime, bye for now. We rejoice.